Today, Precarious plays Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. I wanted to start in the pub today because there are several missions with interesting implications and in text. Uh, is this? Oh, this one is interesting to me. So, that guy in the corner is a fabulous tenor. We want him for our chorus group, but he refuses to join. Won't you convince him? I like this one because you get an aerial hole. An aerial hole? Yes, it's not a well-named sword. Uh-huh. Um, also, it's called One More Time. Yeah. One more Yeah, but I don't know if time. that's... Uh, mm, mm, copyright. Mm. I don't know if that's what is... um. Being, being referenced, referenced or not. No, probably not, it's but... It's from the right time frame, so I could see it. Oh, this one makes me smile. Where is it? Life work. Um, you'll notice that we have to um, send an alchemist. Right. But this guy's like, needed potion advice, making the ultimate love potion. It's my life work. I'll be rich and famous for all time. <laughs> and... Just first one's free, I guess. First one's free, and you also get a fluffy robe. Wait, wait, go back to that for a second. Not? You get some knives, a frog, a love potion, and a flurry robe. Okay, I thought that said fluffy robe for a moment, and I was like, well, what else are you gonna knives? You gonna use with your repairs? Frog. Yeah, but those are those are law cards. Oh, okay. That's funny. Just this combination of items is funny to me because it's it would like, be funnier if it was like a basket of rapiers and a, a single frog. I'll admit, but yeah, this one I think I'm going to have fun with. Oh, the fur of the cutic tiger, that sheen, that silky feel. It's hard to come by unless you happen to know a good poacher. Um, uh, are we poachers now? No. Are we poachers I, soon? I don't think that's why I picked that one up. This one is another one that involves uh, Linny and Gaul. Gaul, the Knight of the Ember Eyes, was out with the Mughal Linny when they heard tales of a red-armed fiend in the Coring Wood. The hero G G Gaul. Oh, that's it. Hero Gaul, chapter one. Okay. Bruh. I, I was trying to be smooth, I'm sorry. <laughs> well... And this one! This one is especially interesting. No cancellation, so it's the next major story quest, I think. Okay. Looking for information about that bounty, the pa Hold on, let me, let me try that again. Looking for information about that bounty the palace is offering. Give us a shout if you see us. We're around. Huh. I think we're the bounty. Oh. We're gonna show up and be like, hey, we're here, and then take them all out. Maybe that may be what's gonna happen soon. This one is time. This one I think is battles. And then this is, I think, in the Corning Wood. Which is here. No, that's Salika Wood. Uh, where's Corning Wood? There's Corning Wood. Okay. So I'm gonna grab this one first because they're mobile. Oh. oh. Uh. That's fine what I wanted. They're gonna run away from you. And then the other one is gonna come down into the spot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, almost. Okay. Uh, you want a skin? Sell you one for 3,000 gil. Sorry, no deal. Oh. Always the second option. They're poachers, and I think New Kid is gonna say as much. Okay. We don't work with poachers. We're turning you in. Also, we're gonna to take corpses. Your stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're turning you in to corpses. So, no target area, but yes, target all. I've got to be very cautious with regards to my magic use mm. and my AOE fighter attacks. <sighs> it's a shame you can't steal the boots off of people's feet, but I think we already <laughs> talked about that. <laughs> You can rob their torsos nude, but you can't get their boots. Well, that's... I don't know what to say about that. 
That something is what Look, it is. Look, they always kick their little feet into the air. You just have to steal them one at a time. Yep. Yep. Like stealing shoes from a baby. <laughs> well, that old idiom, stealing shoes from a baby. It's just like, <laughs> steal, steal, done. <laughs> steal, steal, done. <laughs> steal, 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 done. <laughs> it could All be that shoes. simple. <laughs> oh... It'd be okay. really funny if you got like a particularly high level thief, which was boot steel. <laughs> it was like, fucker stole the boots right off his feet while he was walking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you can. I think that's one of the last major upgrades to stealing in um, Skyrim. <laughs> You steal the you can steal the armor right off of someone's body while they're <laughs> conscious. They just have to be like turned away from you, maybe. Uh huh. Probably not even that if you are like, like when you get to that enough. point. I feel that maybe it is much more about talking someone out of their shoes than it is about sleight of handing shoes off of their feet. Like, can you imagine going up to someone and be like, "Oh my god." Those are made out of butt leather. <laughs> Ew, why are you wearing those butt leather shoes? Uh, yeah, see here, here it is. That's not an excuse to hunt down endangered animals. We're still not Remember that, remember that in a couple dozen hours whenever new kids like, time to wipe away this world and <laughs> all of its endangered animals. Oh. You know, the entire species of everyone. Yeah. Each individual species, endangered. What do you think would be more effective? Explaining to someone that their shoes were made out of butts? Or explaining to someone that their shoes were unflattering to their feet? Or explaining to someone that their shoes wait, 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 were wait, wait, corrosive wait, wait. to their feet? I would probably resort... <clears throat> oh no. Oh. No katana. So one of these can't attack regularly. Oof. Um. Blackjack? Blackjack to the back of the bonds. <laughs> oh. That would be my solution. I thought you were suggesting to like pull them over and have them play cards. I'm like, why blackjack? Strip poker is like a <laughs> legit game. It's because the mo it's the most concussive <laughs> of all the card games. This is common knowledge. <laughs> I suppose it's relatively quick, but... Usually painless, <laughs> if, you, if you're playing it right. <laughs> ha, you fool! I have block arrows. Damn, I can't use new kid's new trick, because that's, that's AOE. Mm. <sighs> so sad, Mad. I'm probably gonna negate that katana card if I can, just so I don't accidentally get one of my assassins sent to jail. Yeah. It's just, I'm pretty sure that corner is weapon independent. Like, I think it is just, it's like a, it's closer to, um, fisticuffs. You know what every ability in this game needed? Whenever you press select, it needed a series of color-coded icons mm. that matched the icons of the law. Yes, oh my god, that would make it so much easier. Like, whenever I press select on last breath, it should have a little icon that's either, like, a little open hand or, like, just a little generic weapon symbol. Probably just, like, a tiny fat sword that fits in a square. Mm hmm So that way you know it's either it is connected to your weapon or it is not. Because, like, I think that, like, some of the fighter techs are not connected to your weapon. Mm -hmm. All right, no, I'm sorry. Some of the fighter techniques are connected to your weapon, even though your character has an animation of like punching the air. Oh. Mm, I do not have an anti-law strong enough to negate it. Dang it, well just don't, don't use katanas. Mm, but I don't know what else she can do. Because she only has last breath, and I don't want to risk finding it. Because since it's a KO, I think it would be an immediate red card. Ooh. 
because you I think it's based on like how effective <laughs> the law being like how how much good it does for your team exactly so she can just go hide behind those reeds yeah that's fine wait you know how I can probably tell how I I think that if it counts as being from your weapon I think it adopts the range of the weapon and this doesn't no no because far fist and air render and ma glance i don't think that they're modified by your weapon at all but mm. i still think they count as using your weapon well mm. i should probably just Oh no. Okay. Whew. I was like, oh no. Are they just. Are they just the archer squad? Do they just all have block arrows on? Uh. They don't. I was mistaken. Hmm. My nose is getting full of snot, so I'm going to stop talking now. You know what I was wondering? I was wondering how one would go about making a black mage costume. It doesn't work if you don't. Because you have the little you have the little hat, and the hat would be easy enough. But do you think that you would want to have like a one of those see-through well, no. See out bodysuits? Like a black bodysuit, and then put like some stitched up cute googly eyes on it, and then have a little little straw hat, a tall straw hat. You think you would, or or would it be like, would you want to have a mask? Maybe a mask would work better. Do their hands ever show? Wow, this really doesn't work if I don't talk, huh? No. It doesn't. Like, I thought that you would adapt, but you refused. You were like, no, I'm not changing anything. I'm just going to continue just pretend to, it's going to have a dialogue, even if it's a monologue. Well, yeah. You can see their hands. Yeah? Yeah, well, So maybe a they usually wear gloves. Oh, they do? Yeah. Like brown gloves or black gloves? It just depends on the... On the the mage in question, I don't I don't have Jonas with me. He's a black mage right now. I could mm -hmm. show you. Vivi is probably the most famous design of a Final Fantasy, really traditional black mage. Mm -hmm. Um, and his design is, is very cute because he has like little striped pants Ooh. and they're puffy. And he has fun little boots and white gloves. And like a little patchwork jacket, I think. Some of his clothes. I think some pieces of them have patches on them. Okay, I'm gonna need a little more than ah. That sounds adorable. For what reason? Because having a black mage look all roughed up, like they were busy working on their magics and, and had to patch their clothes is fun. I always like a little bit of distressed stuff on fantasy costumes. I think it makes them look a little bit more likely. You know... Because the, the black mage is adorable looking, but it doesn't necessarily, to me, look particularly functional. But adding, like, some texture and some patches and some poofy pants... <laughs> sounds really cute. <laughs> Why did I have to prompt that? Why didn't you just start it with that? See, you could totally carry the conversation by yourself. <laughs> what? He... That was AoE, wasn't it? Did I misread that? Target area. That affects two plus panels. Uh... Mm. Maybe... Maybe it actually has to possibly like affect two or more people in the area maybe that's wrong maybe it's not 
about the, um... <sighs> about the tiles, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. Like, maybe this. Maybe two or more people have to be glowing. Mm. Because I can't get around behind this guy this turn, I don't think. I'm just going to give him a poke and I give him a quick stick. <sighs> this battle is going nowhere fast since I'm down a character and they yeah. keep using abilities that, like they keep trying to target the assassin that has block arrow. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. It's like they don't know. After it comes back around to my turn, after it comes back around to my turn, I'd like to stop here for today and resolve this tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like the only person that's in danger right now is Keef. Is Keef. Okay. Whew. Yeah, look at the turn order and figure out a plan.